This storm brought a light, fluffy snow, but police advise you to always clean off your entire car. So as you just heard, one person ejected, another person also injured in this accident. Route 100 is closed in the area. This is actually the Borough Pools parking lot, but it looks more like a ski resort. And today, one truck after the next came here. Let's get you right into the scene. Police have blocked off the area near the shooting, and they're keeping everyone back at this point. New at sunrise, military officials say a single plane has crashed in southern Arizona. Do you feel like you let the fire department down? Just get it on my face right now. Just to give you an idea, this is some of the hail that still has not yet melted. It's about a quarter size in some spots. Teachers tell us it's great to be able to get back into the classroom, but students will still be at a disadvantage. The roof collapsed and it leveled the walls. There were vehicles on lifts that came crashing on top of each other. Francis Acosta was able to dodge our cameras, but he could not dodge the law. And we saw a very remorseful Acosta in court today. The school's principal was inside the building when that twister touched down. And when you look at the damage, it's truly a miracle that she survived. The storm blew in fast and blasted right through this building. A community is cleaning up after an EF1 tornado touched down in Tilden Township. 105 mile per hour winds peeled apart the Blue Mountain Seventh day Adventist Elementary School. Its roof ripped off, walls collapsed into classrooms, and bricks blown off the building. And I heard the glass break and then um, just was down on the ground, and it seemed like something was on top of me. Principal Rachel Wardecki was the only one inside when the twister hit. She was lying here underneath ceiling tiles and insulation. It was dusty and dark, but she managed to climb over a broken wall, crawl through debris, and walk out this hallway. That's when I realized how blessed I was and how protected I was. And we were making some comments earlier about you know her guardian angel. He worked overtime in there. Tornado. The tornado moved through around 6.30 Thursday evening. It blew pieces of the building hundreds of yards across the hilltop on Mountain Road. Part of the roof trapped in this tree and a screen broken through this garden light. The National Weather Service surveyed the damage and followed the twister's path up the hill. It's phenomenal. I haven't seen damage like that in a very long time. A school is decimated but determined to move on. As teachers, students, and parents watched in awe, an American flag was placed out front, now flying high. We're going to be okay. You know, and I can say to my students that, you know, angels were here, they're protecting us, they're going to watch over us. And back out here live, lots of volunteers out here helping to clean up this mess. Officials say at this point they don't know exactly what they're going to do with this building, but we're told classes will start on time in August. Students will be reporting to the Blue Mountain Academy right across the street. Victims spoke exclusively to WFMZ's Ryan Hughes. He's live in Reading, and Ryan, you have that chilling surveillance video. That's right, Rob, and that video shows a customer ducking for cover as a worker is being held at gunpoint and backed into a corner. Now, this all happened across the street from 10th and Green Elementary School, and tonight that store is offering a $1,000 reward to help track these men down. They barge in, just point their guns at me, say, give me the money, give me the money. You Surveillance video obtained exclusively by 69 News shows the terrifying moments when four men burst into El Jalisco food store in Reading. With their guns drawn and faces covered, three of the robbers storm the counter and start raiding the register. Tatiana Sandoval quickly found herself looking down the barrel of several guns. I thought it was maybe a hoax. You know, it's Halloween. I, at that point, didn't even realize it was a robbery until they opened my door and they started pointing at me. The violent holdup happened just before 10 in the morning in the 900 block of Green Street, directly across from 10th and Green Elementary School. As the three men stuffed bags with cash, a fourth robber jumped on top of the meat counter and ordered Fernando Sandoval to the floor. I was really terrified. Um, I just went down quickly, put my hands over my head. The men were only inside about a minute before cameras caught them racing out the door and down an alley. El Jalisco was a family owned store in business for 15 years. Tatiana says her uncle was shot and killed during a robbery a few years ago. So when these men drew their weapons, she decided not to fight back. I did think I was going to be harmed, but thank goodness. I feel they were just as scared and they could have pulled the trigger, but. 
thank goodness they just ran out. And those men did get away with money, but luckily no one was hurt. Once again, that store offering a $1,000 reward to help identify those four robbers. The sound is mesmerizing. And the music original. Jim Mech is a first class entertainer and a singer songwriter like no other. I've been playing gigs for about 30 years. Mech is the music director at Christ Mertz Lutheran Church in Rockland Township. He's been playing piano for more than 40 years. His fingers dance across the keys. Music is Mech's language, and now it's all from memory. As you're learning to play the piano, piano teachers will tell you, don't look at the keys, look at your music. But Mech can no longer see his sheet music. He lost his sight and is now legally blind. I think that's one of the hardest things going through this, is, is not being able to just throw sheet music on the stand. At age 13, Mech was diagnosed with a degenerative retinal disorder. His vision decreased over the years, and in 2006, almost everything went black. But the 48-year-old has not missed a beat and shares his passion for the piano. And Mech's schedule is jam-packed. He has about three to four gigs a week, and he's been performing at the Berks Jazz Fest for the past six years. Oh, it's a thrill, yeah, to just be in that mix and knowing the energy throughout the whole county. He says it hasn't always been an easy road. I had to keep pursuing and find a way to make things work. Because music is in his blood and he can't stay away from it. Ryan Hughes, 69 News.